All right. Today, I am going to be talking about Twyman's Law. If you haven't heard about Twyman's Law, then you should definitely hear this, what I have to say today. This is one of, an, uh, one of the important concepts that I have learned from Ronnie Kohavi who is one of the top experts in the world in online experimentation and A-B testing. So what is this law? This law states any figure that looks interesting or different is usually wrong. So let me show you this t-shirt right here, which I got from one of Ronnie's conferences where this law is printed on the back of the t-shirt that uh, we gave out. Um, at this conference. I was part of that conference as well. And so this is where it says, you know, any, right, I think you guys can see it right here. So any figure that looks interesting or different is usually wrong. So what's the application in uh, digital analytics or A-B testing? This law, if you wanna know the history of this law, then I will put a link in the comments below so that you guys can go and check it out and see what where this law came from. Ronnie has a presentation on this topic. He talks very extensively about this. He teaches his teams, his, his all his classes. He talks about this law. All his talks are about this law. So uh, thank you, Ronnie, for bringing this to uh, the world of digital analytics and online experimentation. So what does this law really tell you? When conducting any analysis on A-B testing or data analysis, remember this law. So let me give you an example to better understand this. Say you are running an A-B test. You are making a headline change. And with this headline change, you expect a 2% uplift in the conversions. You run the test, you look at the data, and all of a sudden you see 25% uplift, right? You made the change, you're seeing 25% uplift. You were expecting 2%, you got 25%. Most of the people will go and celebrate that, right? Hey, we did this test, we got 25% uptick in our conversions. Remember this law, which says any figure that looks interesting or different, unexpected really, is usually wrong. So that serves as a reminder for you to go and check your data. See if everything was set up correctly. See if all the data is coming through properly. All your calculations are correct. Your A-B testing setup is correct, right? He uses this law and has used this law extensively to find out issues with setups. So this law serves as a reminder. And let me give you another example. If you are using Google Analytics and let's say you see on an average, your bounce rate is about 30%. You run a campaign or maybe not even run a campaign and you start to see a decline in your bounce rate and it goes, keeps going down. Maybe time for you to celebrate, maybe not. Remember Twyman's law. What does it say? Any figure that looks interesting or different is usually wrong. So go and check your data. See what have you, what changes have you made? So remember this law is, 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 an, um, is a reminder for you to check out your data and see if everything is set up. If your bounce rate falls below 10%, I can guarantee you that it's wrong. So that's what Twyman's law is. It's more of a reminder. Keep, keep in mind that. And every time you see data and every time you see something that looks interesting, then tell your mind that it might be wrong. And it doesn't have to apply to only digital analytics or A-B testing. It applies to any scenario in real life as well. Somebody gives you a number and say, yeah, this looks interesting. If it looks interesting, that's uh, something you didn't expect, then it's likely wrong. And that's what Twyman's law is. So remember, here is a t-shirt. Maybe one day I'll give out t-shirts to all of the viewers here. And this t-shirt tells you any figure that looks interesting or different is usually wrong. Now you know Twyman's law and go ahead and use it. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. 
and leave a comment below so I know that you got this point. And tell me, have you used this in future? When you use it, tell me if you have used this and how this has helped you. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I will uh, put up a link below to let you know where you can find the history on Twyman's Law. Good luck. Thank you.